Hey everyone, this is Chris, uh, taking a break from work this weekend to bring you another Marvel video. Also doing a little bit of experimentation with the cam setup. And you can't see this because it's obviously hidden from view, but I bought a tripod extender so that I could mount a camera a little more straight vertically over the play space. Uh, see if that maybe makes the game board a little bit clearer. Uh, drawbacks, of course, now my my lighting is very different because it's a lot easier to get glare on these cards. You can see some fun things like little shadows on these dice when I drop them down. Uh, but we're going to go with it and we're going to see how this works. I am playing Tony Stark with protection up against Expert Claw. I am probably going to lose. Uh, maybe a couple of times today, if I'm being honest. I haven't tested this deck out too much, but uh, I've seen some people talking about how Energy Barrier means that Tony Stark is a pretty decent multiplayer protection character. I wanted to see what that felt like in solo. Obviously, Expert Claw is pretty rough, but we'll see what happens. And I haven't taken my opening mulligan yet, because for Tony Stark, that's pretty interesting to do. I have the helmet, I have strength, I have tackle, which we're definitely going to bin. Uh, Pepper Potts, who is pretty great. Avengers Mansion, and one of the energy barriers. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to keep the two tech upgrades and the strength that will help me pay for them. And just ditch everything else. All right, well, it's offensive ally time. That's Nova, Luke Cage, and Tackle. So I'm not going to play any of those cards. Uh, let me activate Tony Stark's Futurist ability. Reveal three. Extra defense, energy, and rocket boots. So we're definitely going to take rocket boots. My hand is not very well equipped for doing anything else. Um, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, all right. So drop Tackle, play Rocket Boots. Drop Luke Cage, play Mark V Helmet. Uh, discard Strength, play Energy Barrier. I have my dice, but I can't see them at all because it's extra dark in here today with the shifting of the lights. Uh, but I think that's all right. So... Three tech upgrades is not perfect, but it does mean that I can clear out one of these schemes. So I think I have to flip over into Iron Man, activate to remove two off of this defense network. Mark V helmet removes the third. That defense network is gone. I'm going to take some damage, but I can reflect with the energy barrier, which is pretty good. Um, this Nova does nothing for me, so I'm just going to draw four. Well, well, all right. Those are, those are definitely some cards. So, uh, heading into the villain phase, first things first, scheme is going to advance two, unfortunately. Uh, then the... I should refresh all my cards, which I always forget to do. Uh, then Claw is going to attack, swing in with one and two boosts. I need to keep Iron Man ready, otherwise I could use this expert defense. I'm just going to save that. All right. So uh, I am actually at 10 hit points, so maybe I'll be fine. At least probably not going to kill me from this attack. All right. Two boost twos means that I will take five. Um, I will reduce by one. Pop off this tough status on the Armored Guard. Armored Guard is going to attack. Uh, take one from that. 
I will, looking at the cards in my hand, be able to deal two damage to it next round. So I'll reduce by one. And my total health back down to six. Uh, and I get an encounter card. Uh, the villain and each minion engaged with you attacks you. Cool. All right, so here's Claw. Bring it in four. Woof. Uh, that is another five. Uh, I'll deflect one onto Claw, which is the last use of this energy barrier, sadly. This minion should have one on it. Claw has taken a whopping one, and he's going to attack me, so I'll take one more. All right, all right, down to one. Uh, yeah, I want to say that could have been worse, but it's pretty unlikely that it would have been. So my turn, we're going to have to flip back to Tony Stark at some point this round. First things first, let me drop War Machine and the Power of Protection to play Powered Gauntlets. Uh, so this is going to get me only four cards around in Tony Stark still, which is not great. Uh, use the Armored Boots, dropping this Expert Defense to become Airborne. Aerial, rather. Uh, Mark V Helmet takes one off of each of these schemes. Uh, drops the pressure a little bit. Tony clears out the Immortal Claw, so we're not going to advance as much next round. Uh, and Powered Gauntlets is enough to take out the Armored Guard. And then I flip back into Tony Stark, and uh, we're just going to pray a little bit. So refreshing all of these cards. Draw back up to six. See what we have. Well, I have another energy barrier. I have Nick Fury, who could help me out of a little bit of a tight spot. All right, this is not the worst. So, team advances by one. Claw is going to scheme with only one boost card. Uh, two or higher pushes us on to the next stage. If this exhaustion deals damage to you, exhaust your hero. So no, it doesn't. Only brings us up to four of six. And I get one encounter card. Uh, which is going to surge because there's no minions in play. And Shadow of the Past. Cool, cool, cool. What a start. Oh boy, all right. Four on Imminent Overload. Whiplash has Retaliate one. I can take zero damage right now. All right. Yes, that's all we got. Uh, first things first, let's activate the Futurist ability. One, two, three. Oh, Mentim is pretty good. Stun might be better. Uh, no, I think I'm going to grab this med team, although I might end up sacrificing it for resources. Uh, I have to recover. Just sitting at one health is not enough. Four is not a lot better, but it's a little bit. I use the power of protection to put an energy barrier into play. Three counters. All right, so at this point, I can med team. Might be better. No, I, I pretty much need to deal with Whiplash. Basically, anything else leaves me kind of screwed. Here's four resources to put a Nick Fury into play. Um, so, choices. 
can definitely take out Whiplash if I flip into hero mode. Draw three cards means I should be able to play this med team or something else that's really good. Be bold. I'm going to draw three cards. Okie dokie. All right, well, I'm going to drop Med Team and Repulsor Blast. Even though Repulsor Blast is pretty good with Protection Iron Man, given that Energy Barrier has a energy resource, I can use those two to pay for a second Powered Gauntlet. Can't be Airborne, which kind of stinks. Uh, I guess I'm just going to hold on to this Med Team. So we are going to flip into Tony Stark. Uh, I am going to use two to thwart off of underground distribution. Use the Mark V helmet to take one more off of this. Um, mm. did I need to do something else? Yeah, hang on. I think I'm not going to use Nick Fury to thwart because that's not going to go up that much. Uh, I'm going to have him attack Whiplash instead. So here's two damage on Whiplash and one Nick Fury. Use these two powered gauntlets to put the last two on Whiplash, uh, which does retaliate twice against me. Guess I'm gonna take two and do two to Claw. That is all the stuff that I can do, so let's ready everything up. Nick Fury is going to have to tank a bunch of damage for us. I'm going to keep this med team, draw back up to one, two, three, four, five, six cards. All right, I got another energy barrier, so that's pretty sweet. Okay. Scheme advances twice, up to five, which is not great, but hopefully I'll get to activate Iron Man this round. Claw is going to attack, and I will put Nick Fury under the bus. Uh, boop, boop. Well, only two attack is still enough to take out Nick Fury, but he was going to go away regardless. And one encounter card. Electric Whip Attack. Uh, choose and discard and upgrade eye control. I will discard this energy barrier for sure. It's about to go away anyway. That was not too bad. Not too bad at all. He says sitting at four HP. Um, can't currently go airborne this round, which is unfortunate. I can only remove three from the schemes. Um, I'm going to do two here. Activate Mark V helmet to take one off of this scheme. So I'll be able to clear that next turn or not quite clear that one. Fortunately, discard two for an energy barrier. Up with three counters yet again. Can't put the med team in play because I don't have enough cards. Uh, so instead, I think I'm just going to pitch two and supersonic punch for four on the claw. And I might as well use two powered gauntlets to do two more. Bringing him down to nine. Let's 
still at six cards in my Iron Man hand. Six. Which means that this should be readying and extra health. All right, well, this is interesting. So let's see how this goes. Scheme advances by two. So we're one short. I was going to attack with two boost. I can prevent three. So he needs to get two, three boosts in order to completely wreck me. But I could defend. I have to do some counting. I think I would rather have this card as a mental energy icon for next round. I'm just going to take it and we're going to hope. Uh, okay. Weapons are engaged with me. That sucks. Electromagnetic backlash is boost two. Uh, so I would take a total of three damage. I'm just going to use it all on an energy barrier immediately. Two goes into the Weapons Runner, one goes into Claw. And I don't know how the timing of that boost effect works, but since I assume we have to resolve the boosts before the attack resolves, that that works out. And if not, I'm not going to worry about it, because Expert Claw is hard enough. Oh, and I get an Encounter card. Uh, advance would be bad. Extra attack would be pretty bad. Legal Arms Factory is actually okay. I don't love it. But we're gonna be in a better place to handle it than we were before. So yeah, I think we're just gonna go for it. Uh, all right. Back over to my turn. I need to discard two cards for an arc reactor. Definitely the best of these tech upgrades. <laughs> and now sitting three cards in hand, not enough to play the Mark V armor. So I'm gonna discard the Mark V for a second copy of Rocket Boots. Uh, plus one health does take me to effectively five immediately. And I'm gonna exhaust the boots and use this expert defense as a mental resource to make myself aerial. Mark V helmet now removes one from each scheme. Four and two, three. So I'm not gonna be able to clear out the arms factory unless I double thwart there. I think it's maybe not worth it. I got four thwart that I can do and four damage. So might as well just do the four damage. Down to four. Um, uh, Take distribution down to zero. I should be able to end the turn in alter ego mode relatively safely. So let's do that. Get a bunch of extra cards this round, but that's okay. I have basically assembled all of the armor minus the extra HP. Uh, I don't have any energy barriers in place, so I'm not well equipped to take damage right now. And the board state is about to get completely overwhelmed. We're gonna roll with it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just to check, Stark Tower is great to see. Avengers Mansion is probably just going to make me aerial. I only have one Avengers Mansion in this deck right now. Uh, big part of that is actually because 
all the others are in other decks. But once Tony gets rolling, you don't want one extra card around anyways. So. Scheme advances. Uh, Claw is going to scheme. Uh, sorry, this should be my card for the round, or for reshuffling. Claw is going to scheme two, three. Brings us up to five out of six. I get one encounter card for the arms factory and one more for the standard encounter card reveals. Uh, I bet we get Modoc this round. All right, well, exhaustion exhausts Tony Stark. Draws me another one of these. I don't actually remember which order you're supposed to reveal these in, so sometimes I shuffle them. Uh, when revealed Alter Ego, discard a card at random from your hand. That's actually really light. Uh, minus Stark Tower is unfortunate, but not too bad. Two cards to go. Business problems. Uh, oof. All right, well, I guess we're gonna exhaust each upgrade I control. Put that in the discard pile. No Monarch yet. Electric Whip Attack, I'll discard a Rocket Boots. I didn't die. <laughs> Everything is vaguely okay, but also really quite bad. Yep. All right, well, first things first, let me activate Futurist. Uh, draw three cards. Ooh, is anything in here better than Nick Fury? Um, I have an energy barrier, which could be really good. Save me from a bunch of damage. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna take that energy barrier. Drop Nick Fury and a genius. So I will discard two, put an energy barrier into play with three counters on it. All the rest of this stuff is trash. Um, yep. Yep, yep, yep. So we're just gonna have to flip into Iron Man and end my turn. Do at this point oop, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Draw the full seven card hand. Seven. This round should be good. Got some double resources. Um, of course, <laughs> got to advance the scheme. Everything is a little bit thorny, and that's fine. So we're gonna. Advance past underground distribution. Secret rendezvous A. Discard cards until we get a minion. Uh, Armored Guard. Not Modoc. And we only discarded one card, which is not bad. All right. We get up to eight, we lose the game. That's okay. Claw is going to Attack. Uh, do I have any defensive cards in my hand right now that I would care to use? No. I'm just going to take it. I can for one plus four is five. Just burn this barrier immediately. Uh, do two to the guard, removing tough, one to claw. This means that I can pretty trivially kill the guard just by using these gauntlets. Uh, I get two encounter cards. One, two. Weapons runner. Oh, that armored guard was going to attack me as well. Hang on. I should have taken five, lose two, burn through that. Those things happen. Guard would have attacked me for one, down to two HP. Get a weapons runner, which surges into an assault, uh, which 
almost certainly kills me at this point. Um, I looked at these a second ago, but I got nothing. So I have to defend just to reduce the one damage. And two boost cards. Oof. Double Doomsday Chair. All right, well, we didn't see Modok. Uh, we got a little overrun by some badly timed stacking encounter sets. But we pulled past the early game. We're in a pretty decent position to continue rolling. So I think I'm satisfied with that performance. All right, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.